What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC Spike Myth Cup video. I always, I feel like I always mess it up, like I, I want to say VGC 2022, but this is technically not even that format. But yeah, um, I actually am recording this when I should be streaming. I ended up getting home kind of late from work today and I'm a little tired, so I was like, you know, I can't really perform in front of people live right now. Let's just do a video. I, I needed to get a video ready for today anyways. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. The other day I put up a poll on my YouTube uh, community tab asking what Pokemon I should build around and Darmanitan Galar ended up winning the poll, which I'm actually kind of excited about. I've never used Galarian Darmanitan, except I used Zen Mode once. Um, and that's because in Dynamax, it's not actually all that great. Uh, since something can just Dynamax to eat the hit and then hit it back. Uh, however, in this format, I don't think it's actually that bad. Uh, we'll go over the team, but before we do that, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day, which is what Galarian form is your favorite? But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I am really tired today. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I'm falling asleep only now that I started recording. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Galarian Darmanitan is pretty interesting. Uh, you're able to run a Choice Scarf and Adamant and still outspeed a decent amount of the metagame. 147 times 1.5 is 220. If we go Jolly, I believe we're still not actually outspeeding uh, Regieleki because it was at 161 times 1.5. Oh, that's 1651. <laughs> 161 times 1.5. Yeah, we're still short of that, so there's no real point in running uh, anything but Adamant. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have Choice Scarf, Gorilla Tactics, U-Turn, Ice Crash, Brick Break, and Rock Slide. Brick Break is there so we can one-shot opposing Urshifu Dark. Um, obviously, Urshifu Dark is a little bit of an annoying Pokemon. Uh, it has access to priority moves, and uh, being able to Choice Band Sucker Punch us isn't that great, which is why we're running a Zarina here. Zarina has U-Turn, Power Whip, Helping Hand, and Triple Axle, uh, and... Honestly, just that helping hand blocking priority moves and being able to U-turn on something could secure us a one-shot. Helping hand U-turn will pretty much always Oko uh, in DD or anything that's weak to that, except for probably Cresselia, but yeah, very fun Pokemon. Um, I'm running Brick Break because Ninetales is a thing that runs around right now, and while we can one-shot um, Urshifu with this move without lowering any stats, you know, unlike Superpower, uh, it'll also allow us to break through uh, Auroraville, which is pretty cool. I already went over the Zarina spread. It's just 107 speed. Uh, we have a Regieleki, Focus Sash, Volt Switch, Electroweb, Thunderbolt, and Protect. Uh, just a standard set. I usually run Magnet, but I, th I felt that Sash was better for this uh, team. We have the Leftovers Tapu Fini I've been using on a, a couple of teams now. Calm Mind, Muddy Water, Moonblast, Protect, Leftovers, enough uh, defense to be able to take a Grassy Glide from Rillaboom as well as a Leaf Blade from Kartana. We have a Heatran, which I think is a very slept on Pokemon this format. It's able to wall out Naganadel pretty effectively and also like it doesn't, I mean it doesn't like taking Muddy Water from Tapu Fini, but it doesn't hate it either. It hits, it hits it hard, but not hard enough to really scare you if they're not at plus one. But of course we have safety goggles uh, to better deal with things like Amoongus under Trick Room, as well as other uh, Rage Powder Pokemon that we might encounter, like like Amoongus. <laughs> but I guess just Powder Moves in general, like Sleep Powder we can avoid. Uh, we have Heat Wave, Earth Power, Flamethrower, and Protect. Um, the reason I'm running Flamethrower and Heat Wave uh, is because, one, this is a set that was actually given to me by a buddy of mine, and his team reached top 10 on the ladder, so I'm like, who am I to judge? Um, but while Flash Cannon could be useful, uh, I find most of the time that having an option to bypass wide guard like thing, from things on like Stack Attacka um, or other wide guard Pokemon like Celesteela is, is pretty valuable. Well, I also still want the Heat Wave coverage, so uh, I'd rather have Protect than, than Flash Cannon in this situation because I do think both are pretty necessary. And of course, we have Cresselia. Trick Room, Icy Wind, Protect, Psychic. Uh, we're going to be able to take a plus one Modest Spectrier um, Shadow Ball uh, with this set, uh, as well as a uh, Wicked Blow from Choice Banjali Urshifu because we are running the Koba Berry. And yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the games. So I will say I've only played one match with this team. Originally, the Cresselia was a Gothitelle, uh, but I ended up switching it out for Cresselia because... When I was playing that match, while I didn't face a Landorus Eye, I also realized I didn't have a switch in for it. So I was like, all right, the Goth Tell, while fun, uh, probably is going to be better suited as a Cresselia. So yeah. All right. Uh, first game, we're already facing an Amoongus Trick Room team. So this Heatran could be extremely useful for me. Actually, it looks like incredible in this matchup, depending on what Urshifu that is. My money's on water. 
however, it looks like I can pretty effectively lead off this way, go for like a helping handed choice band U-turn and get in my Q-Tran. I think my last mon's gonna have to be the Tapu Fini, honestly. Hopefully we can get some games. Like I said, this is gonna be my first time playing with this team with the Cresselia and my second time playing with the team at all. So it's, it's mostly just like a testing session. Today is more of an experiment than a laddering session, but we'll see if we can get some points. Tapu Lele, Urshfu Rapid Strike, okay. Um, we don't know if the Lele is Scarf or not. We have no indicators to tell us uh, one way or the other. I'm kind of tempted to... Mm. This is a little bit rough, right? If it's Scarf, we basically lose the Lele, or we lose the Urshifu immediately. Um, but I get the feeling that the Urshifu here would want to attack anyway, so I kind of want to U-turn on it. And instead of helping handing, go for a power whip and try to get my heat train in. It's a little bit of a risk, but I think it's a calculated risk. All right, let's see. All right, cool. Not scarf, which means that uh, the heat train here is very appreciated. Yeah, while we don't take that very well, we still eat it well enough. Uh, and I think here, I'd imagine that the Lele wants to switch out for probably shook a berry too i could helping hand this i'd imagine the lele wants to switch out for urshifu right now so i kind of want to go for like earth power into power whip on the lele uh but it's still a little bit risky honestly if i hold on to my fitty i should be fine let's just helping hand this yep they're gonna go for this i'm gonna get my berry back earth power all right they weren't shook us that might have been a waste but if it was av then you know that was definitely necessary Urshu Rapid Strike. Um, I have a little bit of a play I can make here. I can go into my Finny and probably just barely, barely, barely survive this Psychic. Uh, and that'll be very useful for getting a Power Whip off here. So we're going to do that because it could be Sash. No, I don't survive. I'm going to have to eat this. But uh, we do know that Darmanitan goes a little bit crazy here. We are aware of the Darmanitan that goes crazy. Uh, so I think my play here is going to actually be to Calm Mind and... Man, am I scared of the Lele or am I scared of this Urshifu? It depends. If it's Scarf Urshifu, I'm, I'm scared. If it's Banded Urshifu, I'm not. It doesn't look like Banded damage. It did 8% to my Finny. With each hit. Man, a Calm Mind could win me the game here. I am going to Calm Mind and I think I'm going to U-turn on the Lele. Or maybe I just stay in. I mean, my heat trend in the end game is really good too. Let's just calm mind and I could rock slide. Rock slide's honestly kind of a safe middle ground play. Let's do it. All right, give me this flinch. Awesome, cool. All right, that's a KO on the Urshifu. I don't care what they say. <laughs> that's a KO on the Urshifu because they're probably Sash. Uh, and they shouldn't have a switch into this. I mean, I guess stack attack it could, could could come in, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, cool. I think that's a secured game. They don't exactly have a way of breaking Finny now. Wow, I actually live that. That is not the development I expected. What a weak Pokemon. What a weak Pokemon. Who would run such a Pokemon? Um, I think I just get in the Heat Train here and I end up winning. But I definitely want to focus down... I mean, Dragapult's probably going to Phantom Force, so I think I focus down the, the Tapu Lele, to be honest. Psy Shock? Ooh, that's going to hurt. Yep, they do Phantom Force, but this will just barely miss out in the KO. I can now Moonblast and Heat Wave, uh, and that catches all options. Psy Shock doesn't KO me. They're going to Phantom Force my Heatran. Uh, looks like I missed the Lele with my Heat Wave. But that's still game. Cool. GG. Well played. That's pretty fun. I mean, the, the Darmanitan immediately put in work, which is all I really wanted from this. I don't even know what I want to name this team. Maybe I'll name it Monkey Business. <laughs> Actually, Monkey Business is kind of a heat name. I might I might do that. Um, 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 Bullet Punch could be annoying from Lucario if it's running it. Uh, it's also probably like Focus Sash. I think here it's best just to lead off Darmanitan Zarina again. And honestly, my Heatran does go very hard, but I think I leave the Finny at home and go with Cresselia. 
Let's do it. That feels good. That feels like a really... Like, their whole team, except for... I mean, maybe I bring the Alecky. Nah, I have faith. They're not going to bring the Finny. They're cowards. They're cowards. Confirmed. I asked my dad. They're cowards. My dad works at Nintendo, by the way. Monkey business. There we go. All right. Take your bets. Is it uh, Focus Ash? Probably. So, I mean, I could pretty easily U-turn on the Rillaboom. It's very rare that they run Protect. One would imagine the AV is on the Rillaboom too, so this is pretty safe. Uh, let's do a double U-turn. Not quite a KO. I can get in my heat trap. Ooh, maybe I get in Cresselia to be safe. I think I get in Cresselia to be safe. I don't want to get Meteor Mashed or, uh, or not Meteor Mashed, but close combated. Yeah, that's why you do that. That's why you do that, Marcos. Don't be stupid. I think now I get in the, the Heatran, and that's a pretty good spot. U-turn did good amount. Landris comes in. Let's go for an Icy Wind as well as a Protect. They shouldn't be able to one-shot my Cresselia, or even like the double-up shouldn't do it. And I kind of need to hold on to... That, that's the thing, right? Darmanitan's a Pokemon that relies heavily on its partners. Oh, don't... Or I guess they can't flinch me and they shouldn't be able to KO me. Yep, busted Pokemon. Absolutely busted Pokemon. I should outspeed both of these guys now. Uh, let's go ahead and get in the... Let's get in the Darmanitan now, uh, and let's go for a Heat Wave. I want to hold down to Cresselia for a sack later. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been pretty bad, actually. There's the Lando. Uh, I mean, let me think. So, honestly, if I get rid of the Lando and I hold on to Zarina, I think this is pretty much a win. But I have to be really careful here. I think I always sat Cresselia. But I have to, I have to like choose my ice, my U-turn target pretty carefully. I think I do this. I think I U-turn on the Finny, sack the Cresselia. Yep, they do protect, and I'm gonna be able to get in my Darmanitan again here as long as they muddy water. All right, that's what I needed. Yeah, cool. Um. They don't exactly have options here. I can always triple axle the Landorus. I mean, it depends on the Finny set. Maybe I just go for the KO. Because Power Whip should KO the Finny. I'm 107 speed is the issue. I might actually not outspeed it. Could Rock Slide. That's a little bit scary, though. I think I... Is it a throw if I Rock Slide here? I kind of need to get rid of Lando. Let's get rid of Lando. All right. Outspeed, Finny. Outspeed and we win. No, it's probably still fine, actually. They can't KO both of my Pokemon, and I just have to connect a Triple Axle or a, or a Flamethrower. Either one works. Triple Axle, Flamethrower. I could Helping Hand the Flamethrower, too. That'd be like an absolutely goaded play. Oh, that'd be such a flex. Have I shown Triple Axle? I haven't. It's not worth it, then. Let's go. If I Helping Handed, though, that still would have been goaded. GG, well played. Nice. So far, the team's working, like, pretty good. Uh, obviously, Darmanitan's, like, a super aggressive Pokemon. You have to be careful with it, but um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results already. I mean... I'm trying to think of like what matchup we just don't want to face. Oh, this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have the Tailwind on their side. They have quite a few things that could be a little bit annoying. Um, obviously, Cresselia here is quite tempting just to go for the Trick Room. Actually, I mean, if I get the if I get the lead right, Trick Room Heatran just like beats this whole team into the ground. 
no questions asked. Uh, Tapu Fini in the back, and I don't really care about a lot of things here. Darman, I, I mean, it probably goes Arena, but Darmanitan for the late game could be good too, and it's a monkey video, so we're gonna go with the monkey. Drifto Melee, let's go! That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Let's uh, Heat Wave and Trick Room. They may go Amoongus here, but I simply do not care because I have a Heatran with safety goggles. All right, no spit off drop. Very powerful little heat wave there. Trick room up. Uh, let's go for a, another heat wave. They should fear the flash cannon, so psychic. Maybe I just double the drift blim actually and just get rid of it. I actually kind of I kind of mess at that. Flamethrower, psychic, nice. And if they go Amoongus here, we're in like a really good spot. Well, they brought their own Heatran. That's not that's not very cash money. I mean, I can go into my Finny here and try to reverse the Trick Room, but that's also kind of a gamble. I'm going to go for it. I'm crazy. Uh, it didn't quite work out, but it should be fine. Uh, I now have the option to Calm Mind up, and their options for beating that are very limited. Uh, and what I can actually do here is strategically use my Darmanitan as a pressure tool. They are forced. They are forced to actually target that right now uh, if they don't want to lose a Pokemon. So I think what I'm going to do here is actually, do I want to lock Brick Brick to try to get rid of you? I actually don't fear the Heatran as much as I think I would, but I do want to make sure I don't lose to this Heatran with my own Heatran because I have four speed, which is why I was pretty certain I don't outspeed it. Um, or maybe I do underspeed it in Trick Room. Either way, let's just go for it. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to use it as a pressure tool. Calm Mind up. Flash Cannon, cool. That was worthwhile. And now in this situation, I can go for a Muddy Water and an Earth Power because we know we underspeed. If my Tapu Fini underspeeds, I underspeed. I guess we could have inferred that by everything else. <laughs> you know, the Tailwind. That, that could have been a, a, very, a very keen inference I would have made there. All right. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? That's ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, good game. Good game. That all right, that's that's an annoying way to lose. All I had to do is connect that, and they had very they had very few options for beating the Heatran. All right, GG. Whatever. Let's get another. I do want to make more. I, first of all, I have to say the pressure tool thing that I did was very smart. I'm very proud of myself, but oh, we already faced this guy. All right. Um, I still like this lead. I think this lead's very funny and anyone who disagrees is a hater. We're going to go with this and you. I could totally one shot this incinerator right now and I kind of want to I kind of want a helping hand a rock slide and just see what I catch, but I'm, I'm kind of scared. I don't know. Let, let me run a calc. Uh, helping hand. Brick break. I'm adamant. No, that never KOs. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, uh, we're gonna U-turn and helping hand. And go right into the fitty. Get my berry. One would imagine they always flare blitz there, right? Yep, cool. Um, I can go for a muddy water here and get in my Heatran. I definitely wanna hold on to Zarina. Calm mind just doesn't seem worth it. Psyshock does a decent amount. I'm going to outspeed the Incineroar. Don't really get the KO, though. Miss? Oh, I'll take it. I will take that any day of the week. That's actually really sick. Um, I'm going to protect here and go for Heat Wave. Catches, like, everything. Stag Attack, it doesn't like this either. Confirmed. Oh, that does so much. <laughs> that does too much. That is that is an absurd amount, actually. I would be concerned if I were my opponent. Um, 
I'm going to go for the flamethrower because like I said earlier, they, they should not expect the flamethrower and it will always KO because I am Marcos and I said so. Uh, let's go for the moonblast here. Flamethrower, they're going to want to wide guard if they're real. They are not real. They are not real. I get in my Darmanitan now and I always win because I, I literally just double target this Tapu Lele. Um, I mean, the Dragapult doesn't beat me either, but going for this is like fine. Get in the Zarina. Cool. They go for the Phantom Force. They don't win off of that, though. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Icicle Crash and the Earth Power. Miss my Icicle Crash, obviously. Phantom Force, and now they are gone. They are deleted from this Earth. Never to be seen again. Nice. GG, well played. Very cool. Ooh, okay. Wait, this could actually be a really sick game for Darmanitan uh, if I bring it in late. Like, late game Darmanitan could go insane here. I like the Heatran lead quite a bit. Uh, maybe I actually just lead off Darmanitan. The more I think about it, that's probably the play. And I kind of want to go with... Um... Heatran here is very good, obviously. But if I could KO this Mimikyu before it did anything, that'd be so good. So I'm actually somewhat tempted to go Reggie Alecky Darmanitan, and this could be a total throw. This could be an insanely bad throw, but if I get the lead right, that's just game. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go Tapu Fini in the back and Heatran. If I get this lead right, if they end up leading off with Mimikyu and no Trick Room, that's just game. Because I prevent the Trick Room and the Snorlax is helpless. Okay, they ended up going with something different, but that's fine. Um, I have the world's greatest pressure tool right here. They're sort of forced to fake out the Darmanitan. So I can Volt Switch on this Heatran pretty easily and get in my own Heatran. Or maybe I Electroib here. That might be better as a pressure tool versus their Heatran. Let's do it. Let's see if I get Heat Wave. That'd be sick. Let's go. Nice. All right. Um, I'm going to make a, a bold prediction and say that they're going to want to switch that out and go for like a high horsepower on me. So let's uh, Volt Switch on the Snorlax for damage. No? Okay. Do I go Darm? I'm going to go Finny because I'm a coward. They, they attack this turn. I'm scared. They double? They belly drums. That is courageous. That is a very courageous play. Um, I don't like it. And these things don't tend to run protect. They ran protect. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Brick Break on the Snorlax and Muddy Water. I could also Calm Mind actually, but that's like really scary. I think I just Brick Break and hope that they miss. All right, miss. Let's go. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? You just have to hope that they miss and you'll win. Uh, Reggie Lucky here, go for the Protect. And I'm gonna have to start locking U-turn. Actually, Ice Crash is fine too, I live the hit. Yeah, we lock Ice Crash, Muddy Water, KO the Heatran. We should take this unless they're like Miracle Seed, in which case we might not. No, we eat, just don't miss, just don't miss, that's one hit. That's two hits. Okay. I don't think we can lose now. It's very hard to lose. Granted, this this <laughs> it's gonna be the world's weakest Darmanitan attack because we're gonna do like what 10%? I forget how much it is. 12. Player off does not KO. That's game. That should be game unless I like totally miss. Nope. Nice KO. Very nice KO. GG. All right. Probably one or two more, depending on how quick they go. Ooh, okay. This one's a little scary. Um, however, the Zarina here just invalidates a lot of their options. Let's go with Darmanitan on lead, as well as... Dude, the Heatran goes insane O mode. That's a word I made up. Um, I just have to avoid the Urshifu. So let's go with uh, Darmanitan, Regieleki for a little bit of pressure. Zarina Heatran? Sure, I don't care. 
No need to think. No need to think. We are simply monkey today. Today, we are participating in monkey business. Can I get an ooh ooh ah ah in chat if you made it this far? I would really appreciate that. Just just comment down below ooh ooh ah ah. <laughs> I think that's what the noise that monkeys make. I mean, they make other noises like screeches. They screech typically. I'm hoping that we win this one, because I think if we win this one, then we only lost once and it was 100% due to a muddy water mess. I think. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. I'm losing track of the games and of time. It's a Monday night. I'm, I, I need to go to sleep. I had a long day at work today. I'm a water lab technician with a physics degree, but I'm still hopping on the ladder every night using the monkey. And they're, they're taking a minute. They might be AFK. This could be, this could be annoying. Please don't be AFK. I, I kind of want to play this match. I kind of want to play this match, and I'd appreciate it if you weren't AFK right now. <laughs> please. Sir. Please. Sir. Sir. Choose your po- Sir. Okay, there we go. Alright. As previously stated, I can indeed go insano mode. Um... The question is, who do, I, who do I prioritize here? Honestly, it's much easier to win if the Urshifu's gone, so I think I go Zarina and I Volt Switch. Or maybe I just go for uh, Thunderbolt. Because I have to fake out something. Maybe I Volt Switch. I mean, then I end up losing the Darmanic. That's just Thunderbolt. Yep, Sash. They went for the Stinky Monkey. Great. Um, I can now go for my patented triple axle electroweb play. It's patented. Trust me. Get a little bit of chip. Let's see if this triple axle does it. Probably not. Nope. Uh, yeah, we did exactly zero. Very good. Very good. That's exactly what I wanted from this match. So who is it? Reggie Alecki. Um, I absolutely have to win the speed tie. I it's 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 completely mandatory to win the speed tie. Let's U-turn an Electroweb. One would imagine, yeah, there's Rillaboom. Lose the speed tie, still get the Electroweb off, which is fine. Um, because now I can U-turn on this Reggie Alecki and probably KO. Or maybe I lock Ice Go Crash. I outspeed the Reggie like you know. I think I do lock Ice Go Crash and go into like Keytran. They seem to have nanate on me. I think I lose this one. Yeah, because Urshifu comes in. I can't protect here. Uh, they can Grassy Glide. I do have Sash, and next turn they lose their priority. I can try to Heat Wave here, it's going to fail because they're just going to KO me, but... And I don't think it needs to be stated. Um, yes, they have... <laughs> yes, they 100% have uh, Aqua Jet. There it is. Alright, Monkey, I'm sorry I had to end this way. I'm sorry I failed you, Mr. Monkey. That's fine. We still did pretty good today. I think we had a lot of really great matches. Um, and yeah, I mean, to wrap it up, I will say, I think that uh, this is a team I will use in tournament because it is a very fun team to use. I think Cresselia is very slept on right now. I feel like there's not nearly enough Cresselia usage. I think a lot of people are still hooked on Gothitelle, but Crest does go a lot. Uh, Crest does go pretty hard. So yeah, uh, with that, I am going to call it. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications and of course if you guys want to get two extra videos a week as well as get your name at the end of my vgc lore videos and discussion videos uh go ahead and check out my patreon which is gonna be linked in the description down below and might be in the end card i don't remember uh but for one dollar you get your name at the end of all my videos for five dollars you get two extra videos a week so you know it's a great deal it supports the channel helps you pay for editors and it just keeps me going have a nice night i'll see you in the next one bye